Look at that. What's the current energy with the collective love is? Love. So many people use your name in vain. Love. I don't even know what. That's Mizzy Soul Child. Okay. I'm really, I was really hoping like, okay, I don't, I'm just the messenger. So whatever comes out, okay, is I don't control the message, you guys. I'm just the messenger. I do the best that I can. I, you know I love y'all, okay? But this is good. So divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your, your salvation, only love itself. So, so, okay, this message could go either way, y'all, okay? I just want to keep it real with you. This could be talking about self-love, okay? Saying, spirit is saying like, hey, you can't find love in anybody else. You have to find that love. It comes from within. You give it to yourself or, or until... This could, excuse me, this could be the energy of like, okay, you know, time to let something go, love yourself, put you first, and that is going to include you letting somebody go. Or some of y'all could just be in the energy of looking for love, or you may have new love coming in, but we'll see. We're going to start right in with tarot. I was a little nervous because in the pre-shuffle, I was looking, I kept seeing the same cards, and I'm like, oh, what is this going to be for the collective? We want some new energy. The last few nights, energy was, just has been pretty karmic, you know. What do we have for the collective? What's coming in for them when it comes to love? Ooh, okay. Eight of Wands. All right, all right, all right. I'm liking it. Let's, let's, okay. I'm still liking it. Knight of Wands. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Because the Knight of Wands is about excitement. It's about fun. This could be something coming towards you rather quickly within like a few weeks for some of y'all. This person could be a fire sign. You could be a fire sign. Somebody here could be young. This is like feeling young, free at heart. This could even really be like fast movement too, but we will see. What do we have for the collective when it comes to love? King of Swords. You may have a King of Swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or masculine coming your way. Or if you are a masculine, you identify as a masculine Something's coming towards you. Someone you know. Some of y'all are about to have several different options. So some of y'all could be on dating sites or just being seen or uh, we'll see. Show me more here for the collective when it comes to love. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, oh, oh. The King of Pen the King I almost said the King of Pentacles. Why? Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. The King of Swords is somebody here who, especially with the Ten of Pentacles, you guys, this is somebody here who's smart as shit. This is someone who's very intellectual. Like, this is not somebody here who's turned on by, like, phys physical attributes, right? This person, it takes emotional and mental stimulation. It takes both of those things for this someone to be turned on by someone so whoever this is this person is very intelligent this person is like book smart um very good with money too because the king of swords and somebody here could work in law i feel like this person it may have a they value family this person may want a family with you they could be looking to have a family this person could have a large family here or they definitely have money um not that money matters i'm not saying that but the ten of pentacles someone here is well established in their life in their career this is somebody here who just really values family and money too to be quite honest like this is somebody here who's very stable they love pets, too. Um, show me more here for the collective when it comes to love. Ace of Swords and the Moon. Something's getting ready to be revealed here. Uh-oh, whatever is hidden is coming to light. Somebody wants to talk. They could be a Cancer. Hmm... Fear. This could be somebody overcoming fear, somebody afraid to communicate and say something or speak up. Either way, it's something that's in the dark, something hidden coming to light, or someone here getting having some form of truth, revelation, or aha moment. Could be an aha moment. We'll see, though, because judgment is here. Hmm. 
show me more here about the situation. Scorpio energy with a judgment. Whoa. Four of Wands and the Strength card. Uh oh. The Strength card just fell in my lap. I feel like somebody here is having a hard time holding back and wants to talk. I do. I feel like this is somebody here who's having a hard. They could be Leo. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The Four of Wands is falling directly underneath this Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, whatever this is, this King of Swords is very, I just heard, reliable. This is somebody that has a strong foundation, a solid foundation. Like I said, something about this person's home, their family, or they want a home, or they, they're a very stable person. And I'm telling you, somebody here even may have like a really nice house or a really nice place. I don't. I don't even know why I'm talking about that, but because I usually don't. But someone here wants to make a decision. They two of two of pentacles. Either this is somebody here who stays busy with work all the time. I mean, obviously, to have a ten of pentacles energy here, you 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 know you were have to work hard for that, right? I mean, could this be somebody who is it you know fall into money? Yeah, it could be, but the King of Swords is somebody who works for it too, and they're very intelligent. So this person isn't just like you know, even if it is old money, family money, they they're still smart and they know how to manage it. So this could be somebody who's very busy, or this Two of Pentacles could be like I'm unsure. With the Knight of Swords, somebody's like I don't want to make a hasty decision here, or you know. Um, Impulsive decision here, but we'll see. Let me clarify some of this stuff first and see what's going on. First card, let me clarify this. <laughs> Eight of Wands. Can you give me more information about why this Eight of Wands is here? Okay, well, listen, whatever it is, you manifested it. Somebody here, they, someone created this and manifested this. I don't, they could be a Gemini. Okay, whatever it is you manifested it, this person manifested it. Um, I feel like whoever this is, they, they are a co-creator and they know they are a co-creator or you know you manifested somebody here. Hmm. Just clarify the King of Swords, please. Why is the King of Swords here? The Five of Cups. <clears throat> Somebody's in regret. You might know who this is. I don't know. Okay, somebody here is in regret over something, or if this person is not in regret, let me get one more on the King of Swords, Knight of Cups. Whoever this is, regardless of whether they're new or old, I feel like for some of y'all, this person is is new. For others of you, this person is old from somebody from the past who regrets what they said to you, what they did to you, how they treated you. They may have been a player to you in the past, especially with the Knight of Wands being here. <clears throat> Somebody's definitely disappointed in themselves about the past. All right. Um, now, for those of you, this, if this is a new person, this Five of Cups is just standing for somebody who's looking for love and they feel like they haven't found it yet and they're he trying to heal from past wounds or past hurts. This person may even be having some loneliness, suffering from loneliness, okay? Um, and I feel like that is by choice for those of you that this is a new person. I feel like this new person by choice is saying, I'm going to be alone. It's not hard, but I mean, it's not easy. But I want to do this because I want to offer this to the right person. The Knight of Cups is looking directly at this Ten of Pentacles. I want this person saying, I want to be able, when I offer this cup, I want it to be my person, my everlasting, my legacy, the person that I'm going to be with and stay with, have a family with, and create long-term stability in a family together, especially with the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Somebody definitely is trying to like lock it down. But maybe in the past they were a player. I don't know. Hmm. Somebody here has a history, like I said, new or old. This masculine had a past history in moving too fast. They just did. So what's this Ace of Swords about? Somebody here is in deep regret. Like I said, they can't sleep. Nine of Swords, there's some worry here. If this is a past person, their words just moved on and they regret what they did and they, they think it might be too late. 
but I feel like this person's been bottling these emotions up. Bottling these emotions up. Tell me more about the moon. Why is the moon here? Yeah, somebody's thinking, thinking. But see, the thing is, whatever it is that they're thinking, they're realizing something and having an aha moment, especially with this Ace of Swords being here next to this moon card. Clarifying the moon is the Pisces energy, is the hangman. Somebody is just like, I'm seeing something from what, oh shit. I can't believe I treated somebody that way. Somebody here is ashamed of how they treated you if this is an old person. Again, if this is a new person for some of y'all. This person's like, where is my person? Where is my person? But I'm starting to think this is somebody, you know. Okay. Yeah. Show me the judgment energy, please. Six of Cups, the past. Somebody is being judged on their past here or receiving karma about... I just feel like they're reviewing... Show me judgment energy. That's Scorpio energy. Show me judgment. Oh, that's too many. Show me judgment energy. Yeah, the devil. Capricorn energy. Somebody's being judged by their past behavior. The six of cups with the devil. Mm -hmm. They know they got to work on this. They know they have some approving to do. They know how this is how they showed up. Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the day. Judgment can sometimes be reconciliation here. So I feel like for a lot of y'all, this is a, definitely an old person, somebody you know. Could be a Capricorn. They don't have to be. But I feel like somebody here is just replaying a lot of things over and over in their head. Mm -hmm. yeah. Clarify this strength card. Clarify the strength card, please. So definitely with strength being here in the moon, somebody's got some fear to overcome. Okay, for some of y'all, that fear is overcoming whether or not they're going to talk to you, okay, and speak up. The fear or make a move and try to come back towards you with this Knight of Cups and offer you something. Clarify the strength. Ace of Cups. This person's holding back what they want to give you. They want to give you, they want to reconcile. I mean, two of cups on the bottom of the deck, god damn. Six of wands. This person feels like they. you see them. I don't know what they did. Show me this five of cups. What's this regret about? Other than, obviously, there's some toxic energy. Queen of swords. So, with the, the I just clarified the five of cups. The queen of swords is here. The king is... Nobody else is out here right now on this board except for this king of swords. I'm regretting this five. I'm regretting this five. Okay. I'm clarifying, excuse me, clarifying the five of cups for this, this masculine, this king of swords. And the queen came out. So this person regrets messing up whatever this is with this toxic devil behavior. Maybe some of y'all, this person was sleeping with multiple people here with the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Wands, this past energy. This person regrets that shit. They know you are their, their person, their counterpart. Like, they know you're the person, perfect person for them. <laughs> they see you as marriage material. I don't know. Somebody done ran off on some shit. I don't know what's going on underneath this deck. Some drama going on underneath this deck that I'm not even... I don't feel like it tonight. I love y'all. But hit the like button before you go to. I'm open for readings right now. I still got to get... I went and got my glasses fixed and they were like, oh, we don't really think we can really fix them. <laughs> so I have not had time and I cannot find my other pair of glasses. So like, if I, I'm just like, this really gets on my nerves seeing me on camera with these old crooked glasses. But I really love these glasses, but I really need them to see also. Show me more about this connection, please. Let me know in the comments, you guys, if this resonates. Join us on Patreon if y'all are into, like, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings, third-party energy, like I said. Mm -mm. The devil. Third-party energy, okay? Mm -mm. This person had... The when is the next Mercury retrograde? I didn't... I haven't looked at my calendar 
you might hear from this person the next Mercury retrograde. That is if they have enough courage to come forward and offer this Ace of Cups, which is reconcile, apologize, and admit what the hell they did was wrong. That's if you want them, because a lot of y'all don't, don't want them. I don't even see you out here, so you might be minding your own business. Some of y'all, this person's an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay. There's definitely a soul tie here, and you know that. Uh-oh, what just fell on the floor? Hold on, something just fell on the floor. Betrayal. Listen, we got two cards out here of betrayal, third party, confusion, soul contract, deception, dishonesty, cheating. The devil is already damn out here. The Knight of Wands is out here already. The moon is out here already. I just thank you so much for the information, Spirit. Can you can you tell us more, please? Some of y'all are dealing with a player who just slept around, who just didn't want to commit new love in reverse. This person is hoping that you have not moved on to new love. Okay, I love you. And then new love came in in reverse. Some of y'all may really have new love coming in because I sense that we was going to talk about a new person. But for some reason, we're still talking about the past. I don't know why. Because Spirit said so. I mean, but something new is coming in for you. But I'm telling you, this person is hoping that you haven't moved on. While they try to muster up the strength of a mustard seed to come towards you and offer you this ace of cups while they over here in this fear and regret and remorse over what they did to you and then they pride in their ego really I feel like it has something to do with it too because the strength card is about pride and ego let's keep it real the knight of wands is out here with the devil somebody definitely had pride in the ego and with with you know the, the the ace of swords and the judgment card and the five of cups being here oh they know what they did Secret admirer. I told y'all either A, this old person, the past person, um, is lurking around and hoping that you watching you, hoping that you haven't moved on to new love and they're questioning that or a, a for real, for real. I definitely feel like y'all have new love coming in and it's somebody you don't know that's been watching you that who's super interested. Okay. And they, they have, they have a crush on you. <sighs> But this past person still wants to try to come back together and try to make see if they can make something work with you. Yeah, look at that. I feel like there are two things happening here. For those of you who don't want this person back, you're going to give this new person, you only want new love. You're going to give this new person a try once they come towards you. You look, are looking at things totally different. You're not the same person that you used to be when you dated this past person. You've changed. You look at things differently now. You're looking on. You're on the outside looking in. You're not, no longer on the inside looking out, right? And for others of you, the, the the old person that wants to the past person wants to come in and make it work and reconcile with you. They're hoping you haven't moved on to new love. They know they fucked up and and they were very toxic. They were a player. Definitely had you in third party back and forth. They left you. They were going back. They were in and out, hot and cold. You know, for some of y'all, this person would travel some somewhere to and from or travel had to be involved between you and this person. Or I feel like this person just really traveled a lot for work, maybe. Or this person just gets around quite a bit with that eight of wands and the nine of wands energy. That's definitely somebody I get around type energy. But now they're having some form of a new perspective, especially with the hangman being here, the ace of swords. You know, this person definitely feels a soul tie with you. They may be coming to you in your dreams, dreaming about you sexually here. Look at this, time for a change. A lot of y'all strongly feel like it's time for change. Or this person literally wants to change. Let me see what this was. Bad influences. So this person could actually be the card that fell out of my lap after time for change came out and trust the process. I do believe that this past person does want to change their, they want to change how they, you know, who how they showed up in the past and do something different this time. They had some of y'all, it was, you know, being a player, having multiple sex partners, being unreliable, you can't depend on them. For some of y'all, they had bad habits, they were toxic, 
um, just multiple sex partners. For some of y'all, it's drug, alcohol, whatever it is. I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? It's going to be different for all of you, but this person may want to change now. We do have a couple of cards out here about them wanting to change, but we'll see. So what are their intentions now when, as it, you know, when it comes to my collective? What are their intentions now? If they want to take a leap of faith, they want to take a leap of faith. You see how this person is leaping and jumping? Fast movement on the top of the deck as I look down, okay? They may want to rush towards you. What are their intentions now? Dark night of the soul. They want to face their fears. They want to face their fears and change right now. Looks like, okay, but I say you allow this person as much time as they need to continue to heal because, yeah, they're holding on to you very, very tightly. They're not, they haven't let go of you yet. They haven't let go of you yet. Give me one more here. They have not let go of you yet. Soulmate, divine connection. You see what I'm saying? They haven't let go of you yet. They know that you are their person. They know you are their true divine masculine, divine feminine. They know there's a soul, a strong soul tie with you, regardless of how many people they slept with. Now, listen, I'm not encouraging anybody to do anything. I'm just telling you, I definitely feel like there's some form of distance between you and this person or some travel was involved or has to be, isn't going to be involved somehow, some way. You do have energy out here for somebody new. So some of y'all are going to choose new. Some of you may try to give this person a chance, but I'm telling you, if you give this person a chance, because they're going through a dark night of the soul right now, and they're facing some old wounds, and they're having to change some bad habits, and you got to allow this person to do that um, uninterrupted, because it has to be on their terms. And then if you don't, if you just give it up right away, or you just say, okay, sure, let's do it now. The, have they really learned something? You don't want them to revert back to the old, the old them, right? They got to work for it for themselves. Until they do the inner work, they cannot show up fully for you. Until they show up fully for themselves. Because, you know, in this energy, I see out here betrayal, deception, lies, cheating, Bad habits, drug par drug habits, alcohol, addictions, third-party confusion. Yeah, they're longer than missing you, though. Secretly, like I said. You know, well, like Spirit said. Look at that, strictly sexual. Tell me all, like I said, they're, they do miss you sexually, but they do love you and miss you. Um, But I just feel like it could have been that. They could have treated you like that as such. And now they're just ashamed at their behavior. Show me more here. Mm -hmm. Boundaries. Yeah, you set boundaries with them because you feel like, oh, yeah, you know, this isn't going to work for me. Oh, is this just about sex? Only time I see you is when you want to have sex. The only time you travel is when you want to hang out, have fun, and have sex. Spirit said, don't dismiss the red flags here. Maybe you did dismiss the red flags. It looks like you did because you went through it with them. And they're regretting their behavior, which means that they did it to you. Okay. Yep. You got new love coming in. You got new collect. You got new love coming in. Somebody that you can be emotionally vulnerable with. Somebody that you can depend on. You can be open with this new person. Like I said, for some of y'all. Mm-hmm. You're going to learn a lesson. This person was brought into your life to teach you a very a spiritual lesson. It was taught to you to, it was brought into your life for you to know when the red flags, know your worth, notice the red flag, and then make a decision about it and leave them people to hell alone and let them go on about their damn unhealed business. You learned that. You learned it. So continue to practice that, obviously, because, you know, new love don't mean that it's, this, they're going to be you know, the love of the person you marry either. Continue to just practice that is all I'm saying. You learn the lesson so you ain't got to do that shit again. Because listen, I know it's hard. It's hard out here in these streets. I'm out here learning lessons every day too. But you can do it. I know y'all can do it. Show me more here. 
I'm open for personal readings if you need one. That information is below in the description box. You can email me if you have any questions or the link to order one on my Etsy shop is there. Or you can just order one through email too. Well, however you like it. What's the advice for the collective tonight? What is the advice? What was that? Expand. What's my advice for the collective? Well, what's the advice for my collective? Celebration. Celebration is on by Drake and Tank. So you, and then the card expanded came out. So there's some some form of growth and expansion is and a reason to celebrate. So that's telling me a new opportunity or something. You're being asked to expand. You live within a world with endless possibilities. Stay safe. I'm sorry, and staying safe and is no longer working for you. It's time for you to make your world just a little bit bigger. So you've been downplaying yourself. Oh, no, don't do that. It's time to imagine the possibilities and then go for it. So don't downplay yourself. Don't and, and, and um, dream big, reach big. OK, think think bigger picture. Don't dim your light. We have faith. It's not always easy to have faith and trust that everything is going to be okay yet. Yet, you still must do exactly that. Because when you have faith, your life will begin to flow in magical ways that you never imagined possible. Okay? Having faith. Okay? Growing, expanding, seeing the bigger picture. Thinking bigger picture. Um, thinking whatever your wildest dream is. You know what I'm saying, y'all? That's what you go for. Your wildest dream. All right. Last one. Look at that. Keep going. Some of y'all took a pause. Spirit is saying, no, don't take a pause. Now, if you feel like you got a pause, because everybody's going to be a little bit different. Pause, reassess. Okay. And rethink. Okay. Let me see what this card says. Yeah. Do pause before you make a quick decision and move forward. Allow yourself to take back, take a look. Take a step back and look at all the possibilities to make sure you're heading in the right direction before moving forward. So some of y'all might need to assess that situation. But for the most part, those spirit is saying, just keep going. That pause could have been temporary for you or the pause was meant for you to reassess like spirit just said. OK, so keep going. And it may feel as though you've been on the path or journey for so long. And you may even wonder if you're making any progress towards your dream. This is a, this message is a loving reminder for you to keep going. You're almost there. So Spirit is saying, keep going. You're almost there. Have faith, honey. Faith. That's all you need. And th this growth, look at the bigger picture. Dream big, your wildest dream. It's coming. This was just all a lesson. That's it. You got it, you guys. I love y'all. I will see you later. Hit the like button. Bye.